Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the song and my review in this channel. This LP vinyl is Chopin, Andante Spianato, and Grand Polonaise in E flat major, op number 22. Alexis Weisenberg played the piano. Stanislaw Skrowajewski conducted, and Bachy Conservatoire Orchestra performed. This vinyl was released on Angel label in 1968, and the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Nordmandy Fauna Super 59Z vintage tube turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working working beautifully. Today I have to talk about Frederick Chopin and his Andante Spianato and Grand Polonaise OP number 22. <clears throat> Frederick Chopin stands as a giant of the Romantic era. Renowned for his innovative piano compositions, characterized by their exquisite lyricism, technical brilliance and deep emotional expression, Chopin redefined piano music for generations to come. I will talk about one of his most virtuosic and beloved works, the Adante Spianato and Grand Polonaise Brillianti, op. number 22. Born in Zelazowa, Wola, Poland, Chopin displayed ex exceptional musical talent from a young age. He studied in Warsaw, and later in Vienna, where he established himself as a leading composer and performer. Exiled from Poland due to political unrest, Chopin spent the remainder of his life in Paris. Composing some of the most iconic piano works in history, his music deeply influenced by Polish folk music and imbued with a sense of longing for his homeland, captured the spirit of rom Romanticism with its emphasis on emotions, individuality, and national identity. Composed in 1831, the Andante Spianato, a Grand Polonaise Brillianti, is a two-part work for solo piano. It showcases Chopin's mastery of form, virtuosity, and emotional expression. The first part, Andante Spianato, Flowing Andante. This opening section serves as, a, as an introduction characterized by a flowing melody and gentle harmonies. It establishes a tranquil mood that contrasts with the grandeur to follow. The Grand Polonaise Brilliant Brilliante part, the Grand Polonaise Brilliant. A quintessential Polonaise, a Polish dance form in triple meter, dominates the second section. Chopin infuses this traditional form with virtuosic brilliance, featuring rapid passages, dramatic flourishes, and moments of lyrical tenderness. The Andante Spianato and Grand Polonaise Brillianti demands exceptional technical skill from the pianist. It requires mastery of arpeggios, scales, double octaves, and a nuanced understanding of Chopin's unique pedaling techniques to achieve the desired tone and phrasing. Beyond technical brilliance, the work explores a range of emotions 
from the serene tranquility of the opening to the triumphant spirit and occasional moments of melancholy within the Polonaise. Interpreting the Andante Spionato and Grand Polonaise Brilliante effectively necessitates a deep understanding of Chopin's performance practices and the Romantic era's stylistic conventions. Renowned pianists throughout history, like Arthur Rubinstein, Maurizio Pollini, and Martha Argerich, have left their unique interpretations on this demanding and rewarding work. The Andante Spianato and Grand Polonaise Brilliante remains a cornerstone of the piano repertoire. Its virtuosity, emotional range, enduring, actually enduring popularity, continue to inspire and challenge pianists and captivate audiences worldwide. Thank you for listening to the song and my review once again, and I hope you had a pleasant time. See you next time. Bye.